Some trends in pop music defy straightforward analysis. They can't be explained. They can only be experienced. Rita Braver has a case in point. That's Fruvis they're shouting, as in Moxie Fruvis, which means... Fruvis is a form of nutmeg that's very hard to find in any place except there's a village uh, in Madagascar. It was uh, on the road to Gettysburg, old Ethelmer Fruvis. <laughs> uh, the truth about it is where the name comes from, where the word Fruvis comes from. A lot of, on a lot of the Scandinavian blenders. Is the moxie part like she's got moxie mm -hmm. kind no. of thing? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, no. no. It's a reaction to that. No, it's a much older word, this moxie that we use. Much, much. Uh, Sumerian. Look straight at the common disaster. So if we can't tell you exactly what it means, we can show you what Moxie Fubis is, a band of singer-songwriters. Dave Matheson, Mike Ford, Gian Gomeshi, and Murray Foster. Ten years ago, these four high school friends were street performers here in their hometown of Toronto, Canada, drawing in sidewalk audiences with zany songs like The King of Spain. Once I was the King of Spain, now I eat humble pie. A palatial palace, and that was my home. Now I eat humble pie. I'm telling you, I was the King of Spain. Now I eat humble pie. And now I vacuum the turf at Sky Dome. Once he was the King of Spain. They could improvise about anything. I'm singing here across from Aida's. That's where you can get good falafas. I really mean it. You know, do a little rhyme like that. By the end of our first summer of doing that, people would, we would get here on a Friday night and there would already be a, a crowd blocking traffic, like of 150 people, you know, and that's how we started. I like to go out dancing. My baby loves a bunch of authors. We've been living in hobbles. But soon, their witty tunes, like My Baby Loves a Bunch of Authors, were drawing attention. Lately, we've had some friction. My baby's hooked on short works of fiction. They put out their own independent cassette. And it ended up doing well commercially? It, uh, it went gold, actually. It was the uh, one of the only uh, independent gold. Canadian gold, which yeah. is about seven <laughs> copies. <laughs> He's joking, it's 70 copies. <laughs> the oceans and the seven seas are filled with many different tales like these. They've just released their seventh CD. On the wrong side of the law. But don't expect to hear your favorite top 40 station play songs like Pisco Bandito. It's about a fish that robs people. Pisco the bandit fish. Whoa, he's Pisco Bandito. Pisco the bandit fish. There's been times when we've had these, this beautiful ballad and it's gone out to radio and they've come back with, uh, yeah, it's beautiful, but uh, the lyrics, you know? <laughs> lyrics are too quirky. At video but the band, which now has more fans in the U.S. than Canada, has still managed to develop a horde of zealous groupies of all ages. I'm the oldest Moxie Fruvis fan. They call themselves Fruheads, and they stay in touch via the Internet. Yeah, there's uh, FDC, which is Fruvis.com, FHDC, Fruhead.com. Uh, then there's the news group and the chat room, and I spend more time doing that than studying. That's a bad thing. <laughs> How many Moxie Fruvis concerts have you been to? Oh, at least 50. I've been to about... 18 or so, most of them in the last year. 28 in the last year. 82, myself and Chris. How many times have you seen them? 58. Yeah. Let me be American Gladiator. The Fruheads say it's Moxie Fruvis' versatility that attracts them. They can go from hard driving rock to Beatles type harmonies. You know that it's true. When I hold you, there'll be no secrets, I believe it. 
to social satire, like this song about the Gulf War. Fighters for Texaco, fighters for power, fighters for longer turns in the shower. Don't tell me I can't fight, cause I'll punch out your lights. To old time crowd pleasers. <laughs> love Moxie Fruvis, well, Moxie Fruvis loves the fans. Did the guys tell you about the Fru no, Miles card? The there's a Fru Miles sure, card? Sure, there's a Fru Miles <laughs> card. A couple years ago, we had, th for 30,000 points, you get a uh, date with Dave. 35,000 points a date with any of the rest of us. Did anybody win that? No, nobody chose to cash in their <laughs> points on that one. <laughs> they write together. Everybody sharing credit for all of the songs. Resigned to ask why, devoted to die. When everything that you've been told by any person that you hope with any happiness in life will give you every reason to lie. Is that what you do? Is that close? It works as a three part, right. not as a two part. Do you guys okay, ever get mad at each other? The question is Mike Testy. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm you get, very testy. We you're testy. Very testy. You're the testy one. Yeah, I'm the testy one. Who's the oh. peacemaker? I'm the peacemaker. Also. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a, that's why I'm so testy. <laughs> but though they spend days perfecting their set pieces, their favorite bits are the ones they improvise. Take the night they found a slide left on stage. She's counting down the waiting arms of Marie Foster. Is there something down the line that you say, in five years we'd like to be here on the cover of Rolling Stone or whatever it is? Mm -hmm. uh, goals, goals, goals. No, we've never actually, no, we've never done it, thought, thought of it that way. We've all read In Search of Excellence, but we don't do the goal <laughs> thing. I, I keep saying to myself, like, while I'm playing, am I, I'm getting paid for this. <laughs>